What's up you guys, Martin here, and tonight, I said tonight, I'm doing nothing. I had to wake up for work at 3 a.m. So, I went to work for a couple hours, came home, fell asleep, woke up at 1 o'clock p.m. I have never done that, but I was so tired. You know, working hella early morning shifts suck. Just gonna put it out there, but it's worth it. I'm trying to get my car. So I'm gonna do everything I can to get it. So, really all I did was wake up, just relax. And just been a lazy butt today. I didn't have anything good. I wanted to clean the house. I wanted to do a few projects around the house and I didn't do it. So, hopefully tomorrow. So, my mom is having a blast in Alaska. Her cold is going away. She's not that sick anymore. And she's just sightseeing. She has all kinds of things to see, like the mountains. Dogs pulling things, it's really cool. The, just the, the whole Alaskan things that they do over there, it's really different from us. The snow looks beautiful. So I put together this little clip, picture, videos, all that good stuff of Mom's trip so far. And I hope you guys enjoy this. So let's get started. Wasn't that amazing, you guys? Oh, I wish I could have went. I would never go to Alaska just because I don't like planes. The only t the only way I would go to Alaska if it's my mom moved over there and I couldn't see her, so I would go visit her. So that's the only way I would do it, but just to go, nah, I'm good off that. Really happy that my mom's getting out and just doing things and just relaxing and taking like a, her own time, you know? She's always doing stuff, so this is really nice for her. Nikki's at work. Um, and like I said, there's nothing going on, you guys. Nothing great. I need to plan some collabs with some people. I want to do something big for Halloween. I want to do stuff. I still need to do a few things around the house to get ready for Halloween. And, um... That's about it. I mean... We're gonna have leftovers. Spaghetti. You guys know I made hella spaghetti yesterday, so that went well. Oh, Nick loved the spaghetti, by the way. He loved those meatballs that I showed you guys. Those chicken teriyaki pineapple meatballs. He really enjoyed those. So the plan is mom's coming back on the 27th of this month. Um, if she doesn't, that's okay. She didn't pay 
a round trip thing. She'll come whenever she feels like it. And, um, you know what? She, if she's having fun, if she's relaxing, if she's enjoying herself, there's no rush to come back. Um, her room's there for her if she wants. If she wants to stay there longer, that's totally fine up to her, too. Um, Mom, just enjoy yourself. Just enjoy yourself. Because I know you're going to be watching this video. Because you, because you know your face is on the thumbnail. Which I don't know if you're okay with. But you told me I could put a picture on the video. So, it's about you, really. And that's what I say. You didn't say I couldn't put you as a thumbnail. So, uh, uh, and uh. Today is October 22nd, aka Vlogtober 22nd, and tonight's video of the night is Pet Cemetery by Stephen King. Crazy ass movie. That movie scared the shit talkies out of me when I was growing up. Um, the anorexic woman, the sister Zelda, she scared me so bad, like she's so scary. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, here's a picture of her. That is really scary, okay? I'm sorry. Think of, imagine yourself as a child seeing that. And she goes, and she like runs up to the camera. Like that. Um, she's calling her sister Rachel. Rachel! 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 And then like she's buried in like by her bed. And she looks up. That's scary. Um, Pet Cemetery is about a cemetery that is behind the house with the path. You go in there, it's an Indian burial ground. What the point of the movie is, people have buried their pets in this cemetery. The cemetery, the salt of the death or something in this in the dirt, because it was a tribe it was a it was a it was a cemetery from ancient times, so it has this kind of like possession kind of thing spell, I guess you could say. But what happens is when you bury your animal, after a day, the animal comes back to life. But not in the form of a zombie, and not in the form of like, not like your typical zombie, they're just, they come back, but they're not themselves. They're a darker version of themselves. And they are scary. They're dead, but they're, I guess they are a zombie. Damn it. They don't go, none of that, okay? So, what happens is this family buries their cat church in the cemetery. The cat comes back. So they're like, whoa. Their little son Gage gets hit by a semi truck when they were playing in the by the park. And the, that road, the trucks went really fast. Like people have complained to the city and all this other stuff, but nothing ever happened. So that when that kite went into Gage's hand, the dad looked away for a second and the kite fell off. And the wind was blowing the kite to the street. So Gage was like a little toddler. He's running over there. He picks up the kite in the middle of the street and he gets hit by a semi. Boom, he's dead. So they bury him normally. He had a funeral. But the dad was so devastated that he lost his son. He thought about when he buried the cat underground. So he took, he went to the cemetery. He dug up his son, okay, wrapped him up in a blanket, took him to that pet cemetery, buried his son in that cemetery, and bad news happens. I won't be saying anything, so you guys should go check it out if you haven't seen it. It's called the St uh, Stephen King's Pet Cemetery. Check it out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, favorite if you did. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. And I am sorry for this really short vlog today, but like I said, I got home from work at 8 in the morning, fell asleep, wake, didn't wake up until 1 o'clock. Not much is going on. Nikki's going to get home around 8.30, 8. I have to go to bed because I have to wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning for work. So, there's just nothing going on tonight. Alright, you guys. Until next time. Peace.